By switching around just two atoms in LSD, scientists might have just created the next drug for schizophrenia. Scientists are always looking for ways to slightly tweak the chemical structures of psychedelics to enhance or suppress certain properties. And that's what researchers at the University of California did to create JRT. It's a structural analogue of LSD, so in this picture you can see how similar it is in structure to LSD, but also DMT. JRT binds very specifically to serotonin, which you can see in this table with all the rows that start with 5-HT. It's a receptor that's linked to a lot of the therapeutic effects of psychedelics. Compared to LSD, which binds to lots of different receptors in the brain as well as serotonin ones. This could have a very interesting therapeutic function which we're going to go into later. The study found that JRT enhances the brain's ability to adapt and change, which is called neuroplasticity. So when rat brain cells were grown in a lab and JRT was put on them, JRT encouraged the growth of dendrites, which are like the brain cells branches, and dendritic spines, which are tiny little bumps on these branches. More of these connections are generally a good thing for brain function. The study suggests JRT might also have relevant effects in improving mood and improving cognitive function. But JRT could be useful in treating schizophrenia for this reason. The symptoms can basically be classified into three groups. You have positive symptoms, which are probably most associated with schizophrenia. These are things that are added to a person's experience, like hallucinations or delusions. There are some medications to treat the positive symptoms, but they have some really nasty side effects and they don't really help with the other two categories of symptoms. One is negative symptoms, so things that are taken away from a person's experience. So loss of emotional expression and poverty of speech and cognitive symptoms like deficits in memory and attention. Because of the way JRT binds in the brain, it has the therapeutic effects of psychedelics, but when they've tested it in rats, it doesn't seem to have strong hallucinogenic properties. It doesn't make the positive symptoms of schizophrenia worse, and it also doesn't increase the expression of genes related to schizophrenia. These are very early initial findings, just in cells or in rodents. Please take everything with a massive pinch of salt, but it does give hope for disorders like schizophrenia where there are currently no medications that treat all three categories of symptoms. Do you guys think that non-hallucinogenic psychedelics could be used to treat mental disorders in the future? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please like it. And if you'd like weekly psychedelic videos, then please follow our page.